What's going on guys? Good morning. Welcome back to another episode of JY Throws. Yesterday I was doing overhead throws and I actually fell down on my very last one. Smashed my head on the ground as a whole thing, but today my neck is so tight. I don't know if I just, as I was falling, knew I was going to hit my head, so I tensed up my neck and then you know, the impact kind of hurt it. Anyway, whatever it is, I'm at the chiropractor right now, so I'm starting off my day here and then I got practice after this. So I'll see you guys in a bit. I right, just leaving the chiropractor now and that really did nothing for my neck than the muscles in my neck, which I think are what's sore, which makes sense because I just crack you in place so everything can kind of heal properly. So I'm gonna head home. I've got a DMS, which you may have seen the like Theragun thing before. It's like that, but it came out uh, a long time ago. So I've had it for a while, but I'm gonna get that so Martin can DMS my neck before practice because it's just so tight right now. I shouldn't be pulling my head and neck off on my finishing discus, but if I do, I really don't want to hurt it and tweak it anymore. So I'm just gonna get that, get worked on before practice. <laughs> So this thing is DMS, like D-Muscle Simulator, and it's one of the best tools because you don't need to know how to give a massage, it does all the work for you. You just kind of run it along your muscles, making sure you're avoiding your spine or any other bones just because it hurts when you go over top of those. It's like vibrating hammer. You can change the speed of the vibrations. Anyway, it's just great for massage, so I'm gonna do that to my neck to try to warm it up and loosen it up a bit. exercise that I do to warm up that I do every single day before practice but I don't typically show it because it's kind of boring and anyway, we call it picking because it's similar to picking with the javelin where you go out in the field and just do like nice easy throws just to warm up but we do discus picking so I get some clips of that and it's just such a good way to get a bunch of reps to warm up you take you know, three or four discs and you just do nice easy stand throws work on a couple little positions and it's just a way to get the extra whatever 20 plus throws before practice even starts, just to like warm everything up, find the feeling on your release. So I was gonna show that today because I typically skip over it. And anyway, I thought that might interest some beginner discus throwers that don't know about it, or even I guess some more advanced ones that haven't seen it before or thought about it maybe, and just go right to stand throws rather than warming up with this like picking. throws what are you thinking about I guess today keep this long don't pull off throw far I'm gonna go to reverse stand throw second the same thing keep the disc with me so on the finish it's nice and then keep working it around So Martin's talking to me right now saying that on my throws I start to pull and try to accelerate it by basically pulling off. And he's saying if I keep the disc with me and from you know, here to the finish I can actually like put work on the disc rather than pulling off so I just got to be a bit more patient. But I like that thinking about kind of letting it go and accelerating it. Going on to full throws, and I've been thinking a lot out of the back, trying to keep the disc with me so it doesn't get too far behind me in my throw. On the finish, trying to keep it with me and keep it level, but started watching a bit more Daniel Stahl and his throw, that was whatever, 71, 30, whatever it was last year. And looking at his finish, if I go this way, I mean, he keeps the disc with him nice, and on the finish, he's so like long with it and just keeping the disc on his path, on his orbit. It was a So I'm gonna try to work on that today a little bit, I think, and just, same thing I've been doing, just try to make the finish a bit longer, see how it goes. Nice. That was good. Wind up, 
get the disc back to kind of neutral position on the finish. Keep it long, tall, and finish all the way in the middle of the sector. Oh, not too bad though. Yeah. Yeah. Long finish. Oh. Yeah, it's getting a little anxious. It feels really good. So I'm going to continue to think that today. Just try to find that long finish. Hit it nice and flat and see if I can get a good flight on it. Let's do it. Just going to try to continue to keep it long. Try to hit the hand nice and flat on the finish so I can get a nice flight. It could be one of the next big cues that I can fix to get a nice throw. So on the finish, I need to really think nice vertical body position so that the disc kind of turns around me rather than me pulling off and doing things. So keep it nice and tall on the finish. Keep it rotational. Patient. Tall. Long. All right, gonna do another set of non-reverse. This one, I'm gonna try to take it down a notch. Just try to throw it like 50 meters or so finish really try to find a rotational arm rather than one that's pulling me off so keep it rotational get the chest stretch and try to finish nice and tall on the finish see if I can do that and then I'll go into reverse the next set Martin still saying on my finish get into my power position and really pulling it rather than hitting it and continuing to work around rotationally hit the middle Work rotational. All right, so it felt more rotational. But how it rotated, it felt like I went down. Rather than rotating, I'm working it up. Last one, best one. I'm going into reverse right now, and I think my thought process to try to get the things that I've been thinking about earlier in the, my throws, just keep it rotational. Rotational finish, and just nice and tall and centered. If I can do that, I can be nice and rotational. That in turn should keep it kind of long. And then that way I'm nice and tall, centered. Rotational, tall. Rotation, tall and centered. that one a bit. Feeling good and as long as I continue to think about being rotational and staying nice and tall and centered, feeling good. I just need to make sure that out of the back, I'm not dropping my hips back, so I continue to stay nice and tall with my hips underneath me. Rotational, finished tall. Uh, I'll be happy with today. Hips under, rotation, tall and centered. Oh no! I need to keep feeling that rotation. I'm starting to cut it off and just jump rather than continuing to work it around. Keep feeling that rotation. Stay nice and tall. Uh, that one felt rushed and not great actually, but I think it's going decent distance, so keep working it. Hips under me, rotation, nice and tall and centered. I just mentioned my arm is short coming out of the back. I'm gonna try to continue to work that nice and long with my hips under me with the tall finish. Long arm out of the back, foot up a bit higher, rotation, tall finish. I'm now introducing some 2.25 Ks into the mix, so this will be important for timing. I need to really be patient and really let the disc be with me on the finish. Otherwise, it's gonna so easily get behind. I'm gonna be really pulling off, so I'm gonna do my 2 Ks first. I've got two 2 Ks, and then I'll throw the two, two point seven, or 2.25s after. Oh. All right, 2.25 times. Amazing for only 250 grams, the weight difference it feels like when it's in your hand at the end of your arm. Oh! 
Okay, yeah, I was, I was rushing it and can't do that with that. Last set, best set. Hips under me, rotational, nice and centered. Well, not too bad, and the finish was just garbage. 2.25 time. <laughs> yeah, well, Phil's a bitch. <laughs> Folks. That's all, folks. Oh man, another amazing practice today. Super pleased how everything's going. Every day has been better than the last day, and it just keeps getting better and better. And typically, every year, I've got some point in the season where my throwing kind of goes to shit. I start missing some positions and just doing some weird things. And so far, that hasn't happened yet. I don't know if it's going to happen still. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna continue to grind my technique out, keep working it and appreciating the good times when I have them because right now it's the best my throwing has ever felt ever in my life. There's a time three years ago where I had like three good months of training and other than that, I haven't had an extended period of time that has felt good and I've progressed as much as I am. So super happy things are coming along. Today was probably my best average discus practice throws and I uh, had a couple throws around 60 today and then a bunch of throws at around 59. So I'm just slowly bumping up that average and just going to keep grinding. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like. And if you really enjoyed it, subscribe to my channel. I'll be back very soon with another throwing video. And this weekend, I head to Cayman Islands, so I'm going to have some scuba diving content coming out if you're interested in all and seeing some of that stuff. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a little bit.